Hey guys, so here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Iron Diamond. We return. Uh, where do we return? Oh, in promo. We won the first one. Again, I still haven't done the boxes. Sorry. Normally when I'm in promo, I do like these box things. Um, but like ticks and X's, like depending how well. But we're in promo. We won the first game. So we out of our next two games, we just have a have to have a 50% win rate. And we get promoted. Uh, I want to, I'm interested to see where we're going to get promoted to. Because again, we've got good MMR. We're in gold four. If we don't get promoted to gold three, as in skip gold, uh, gold uh, sorry, gold two. If we don't skip gold three, I'd actually be very surprised. Um, but yeah. I'm hoping also summoner two is the enemy top laner. Because who else bans Renekton? The only people that are going to be banning Renekton are top laners. Uh, Chamando, thanks so much, dude. Welcome, welcome. All right, what do they pick? Like, I don't even know why you'd ban Renekton in the first place, but anyway. What are you going to pick, mister? If they are at least the top laner, Riven. I was kind of expecting Riven. Again, still a bit of an interesting ban. That, that shows that they're not very confident about their early game, right? Because, like, early game... Like, Riven wrecks in late game, so just be patient. What do I want to go? Uh, could still go AD Nico in top lane. But. Hmm. 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 Fled, baby. Let's just win the lane, I guess. And then win even... Like, Kled can beat Riven in late game, so... Uh, I think Kled is also one of the very few champions that still goes Conqueror, because there's just nothing really else that's amazing for him. Like, you could go PTA or something like that, but Conqueror's still okay, and I think it's good on him, so... Wan. Oh, oh yeah, did I not take Rumble down off the donation? Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, we did that the other day. Bonk, bonk. Okay, right. So, comps-wise, uh, basic team comp. Nothing out of the ordinary for us, and then really nothing out of the ordinary for them. Both are just standard team comps. You know, bruiser, damage dealer in top lane, assassin or bruiser in jungle, mid lane mages, a standard AD carrier support bot. So, yeah, this is just a standard game of League of Legends so far. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys... We enjoy the video make sure you throw a like on it but let's get into the game all right welcome to the loading screen uh, so as you can see the mmr is increasing as we play so now the average of the enemy are platinum four and then gold two on my team and obviously i always drag down that average with me being a lot lower rated than the other you know the average player in the game being a smurf uh, anyway what we're we looking at here so we're against a riven that has a 50 percent overall and a 59 percent on riven so, you know, a Riven player per se. A third of our gamers are on Riven. Uh, decent Jarvan. So we got a negative winner overall, but one game. Very good game on Zoe, but only one game. So it's an outlier. 20% uh, win rate on Caitlyn. That's really bad. 50% there. My team, though, one game loss. 62. 13 games. Two games, only 50. And 80% 10. So that's not bad. And obviously me, we have not played Kled so far in the series. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can just beat the Riven and then snowball a bit kind of take over the game um hopefully we'll see again sometimes rivens play really defensive because they know they have good like level six potential uh but you know kled is also really good at forcing things and not letting people be passive um but yeah let's get into it we're playing kled in the top lane all right welcome to the game and i've learned something that i'm not sure if it's correct but apparently the enemy team has two duo queues apparently the him and her a duo, and apparently their duo. Which I didn't really think was like possible. But oh well. There we go. There's the invade with Thresh. Again. Uh oh. Oh well. It is possible? Really? God, I've never seen that, I don't think. Riven got the kill! Ah! Minions have 
God, people make this climb. Like, when people complain about climbing, if they actually probably watch themselves and look how many basic mistakes goes on, Jesus. So many mistakes go on all the time. Now I've got to fight from behind of a, of a ribbon. When again, I want to have lane advantage, or now she's going to have another longsword. So her damage is very high already. And it's because Kazix was just being sloppy. Which is annoying. So Jarvan's starting top. Guess I could get level 2'd. I wanted lane control. Questionable ignite, but whatever. Okay. Not a bad start, I guess. I got her flash, so that means I can kill her soon. Hopefully. So my bot lane, they're probably going to be playing on the back foot. Again, Soraka lanes usually are. Again, a good Soraka can win lane for her bot lane. Because a lot of people don't realize that Soraka is actually an aggressive pick. So many people play her passive because they're like, I just got to heal people. Uh-oh. -uh. If you watch a good Soraka, they are taking control of a lane completely. But again, so many people just play Soraka wrong. <laughs> Gotta play this smart. Javan could be top lane. So many minions as well. An ally has been slain. Didn't, I mucked up then, but whatever. A kill's a kill. I mucked up because I missed the Q. If I hit the Q, then I wouldn't have had to flash. But I knew it was a kill because um, I got the flash earlier. So again, it's all about kind of like investing to your own lane. The early ignite got the uh, got her flash earlier. That means I got that kill. So again, it's about thinking ahead, not always about just right now. So that's good. And again. Remember, we, we had, we're playing from behind in this lane, too. Again, she's just come back to lane. We now chunked her quite a lot, so that's a good sign for us. The more we can chunk her right now, the better. I'm not going to go back, hopefully, until I hit level 6. I didn't go teleport because of Kled's ultimate. I don't mind ulting to lane. But I'm not sure if I... Like, she can't really dive. Again, Kled's really hard to dive, so... If Jarvan's top, then they can. But... It still would be hard for them. Like, I might, even in a dive situation, I could end up with one kill. And again, technically, if you're trading, 
uh, if you're diving someone in a 2v1 and it ends up being a one kill, one loss, situ uh, one kill, one death situation for you, it's actually kind of bad. Because, um, yeah, you're in a 2v1 situation giving away a kill. I'd be very surprised if she doesn't... Like, I'm not ulting if she's not going for a plate. She's not going for a plate? Okay. I was saving my E as well because I was like, right, I'll about, I'm about to fight her. Nope, she just backed away. Alright, be interesting to see what item she comes back with. Probably a Warhammer and maybe some sustain. Because she doesn't have much. We haven't seen Jarvan apart from like the really early game too. Oh, she went... Wow, that's a, that's a story and a half. I was like, she's going to go Warhammer. No, she went defensive. She went cloth armor. This is a really, really wimpy uh, ribbon. Weird. I don't get why you'd play ribbon and play like a wimp. Personally. Oh. Ooh, that charm. If they hit that charm, be dead. Yeah, they got her anyway. Good trade. Again, not going to go for an all-in there. Very unlikely that I'd end up with the kill. I think we also made a muck up the... Uh, she didn't even get that in the bush. So this lane's going pretty well for me so far. And now we can get plates ourselves. Yeah, I got a tr technically, yeah. Twitch was like, that wasn't a trade. No, well, I call it a trade. She just didn't trade back. So I guess technically it's not a trade. I guess she took my time to do that. Which is a type of trade. Oh, you're going to go for it. Damn, I thought she would actually ult that. See, in higher rating, I think a, a really good ribbon there would ult, would have ulted that. Oh, so close to get those little W auto attacks. Oh my god, I just got CC chained. I literally could not auto attack in that whole time. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Huh. I got Q knocked up and W'd and I just could not get the auto attacks off. That sucks! I'll be honest, I got a little bit bored, so I probably shouldn't have done that. I have a problem sometimes when I'm getting bored. I go for plays because boredom and then I just muck them up. Because if I was just, if I continue just playing a bit smart, trading, blah, 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 I would have killed her eventually. Yeah, Riven does have a bigger AA than Kled. They might still get her. Whoa, there they will, I guess. Holy moly. A good Riven with AA cancel? Yeah, but this isn't high rating, so... I'm not really playing thinking I'm against like a god like Riven. Ari needs to move. Yeah, I should have just backed out of that. When I didn't get like the R um, that I wanted, yeah, I should have just backed away. Ah, minion block.
So this is how I'm supposed to be playing this lane. Just get every every now and then a little bit of poke. And then eventually go for the all-in. Where before, I think I went for an all-in when she was basically at full health. So. Again, people don't talk about it much in education, I don't think, in League. But boredom is a big part of, like, being good or bad. Sometimes LOL can be boring. But... You're supposed to continue playing smart even if the game is boring at a certain stage. Don't force yourself into mistakes. It's like the like if you're playing, I don't know, um, PUBG or something like that. You know, you're doing half an hour and you're not finding any gear. So what you do is just go for a crazy play, start shooting your gun. And then get all the attention of everybody. Again, that's a dumb thing to do, but it will kill the boredom. So, yeah. What's the mid game like? I think we have a small advantage. Especially if Kazix is just continuing what he's doing. Whoa, that's a big thing in mid lane. Solo kill. Again, I do actually think Ari's quite good into Zoe. Because, again, Zoe's weakness is being predictable with her ultimate. She's always going back to the same spot. So you can land a charm pretty easily. As long as she doesn't kill you or like make you go to sleep. So yeah. <laughs> Ribbon going mid is just giving me another plate for free. I'll take it. Two plates actually. So she got a solo kill on me. Well, I just got that gold back in uh, tower plates. So it's not that bad. That hit. She went ninja tabby. Well, okay. Yeah, demolish is really good. Again, can't trade when I don't have my W up. Uh, if you're wondering, by the way, how do you beat a Kled relatively easily, wait for him to use his W on a minion, and then a lot of his trading potential is gone. Like, boom. Riven's now coming in because she knows I haven't got W. Like, that's right there. Like, for like a full damage dealer, Riven is surprisingly tanky. And again, she's tanky because of the, um, the shield, right? It's like, god damn. My A didn't go off then. That was weird. Wham! First blood tower, baby. It is mine. Ooh, uh, uh. I'm rich. Okay. We now get this, which is nice. And we also get our ninja tabby. So we are in a lot better place than we were. I probably should have bought refillable by now, but meh. Yeah, no, I know Ribbon's been on the front page a lot. Again, she is, I'd say, a problem champion, but she's not as big as a problem as people think. Like, Riot did release data that showed the only region that really suffers with Ribbons are North America. Like, it's one of two things. Either North Americans are on average better at playing Ribbon than other regions, therefore their Ribbons are better, harder to deal with, or Americans are just worse at playing against Ribbons. It's one of the two. Because the statistics don't lie, and yeah, only North America really suffers against Ribbons that much. So, it's weird, but yeah. Again, Riot doesn't love releasing data as well, so when they came out the woodwork, I was like, Here's the data that shows you guys are dumb! Um, you know they're not mucking around. Is he doing dragon? No.
What is going on this game, by the way? Jarvan ult. Jarvan didn't ult. The problem that I have, obviously, I haven't gone TP this game. But so if if I see Ribbon teleport, I start going and going, uh oh. That's when you'll see just me start to mega push. Oh yeah, see? Mega pushing got her back. Good. My damage is pretty high now. But again with W. So I got a nice one little auto attack there with W, but I can't continue unless I have it back. I have it back up. See, I don't know if she'll actually take the fight with me. She might. Okay, we just straight up murder her now. Nice. Oh no, Ruben's overpowered. Wait a minute. See ya. <laughs> the way to be good on Claire is be aggressive. <laughs> if I didn't go aggressive, then I was dead because I wouldn't have got a skull back. Hey! <laughs> Not even close, baby. <laughs> Oh, man. Love it. I've always liked Kled, man. He's good. And he's really good against, like, the problem top laners, surprisingly. Is that Jarvan actually going full damage when he's, like, basically irrelevant? Like, he's 102, so his score's not bad. But it just doesn't feel like he's been doing anything. I don't know. Maybe it's just because he has not really come top lane. But, yeah. So I'm saying, to be fair, it's a gold ribbon. It's a platinum ribbon. But a lot of people's points with ribbon are like, they think ribbon's that overpowered that she's like broken no matter what. Which is not. That's not true. Every champion in the game has something that beats them. Every single one. No matter if you think like something is the overpowered champion league, it has a counter. Full stop. Oh, hello. That's a lot of them. I also kind of think a lot of what Riven's strength is, if I'm honest, is people being scared of Riven. Don't you dare. Ah! We actually wanted to kill Jarvan then, because we would have... I was about to say we could have done Baron, then I know... Wait, oh, these are useless. Then uh, we could have done Baron, but yeah, I know noticed the time. Baron's not even up yet. Never mind. Alright, Black Cleaver, then Geo. Because again, we to play him efficient, effectively, Cled, you have to play all in. So GA as like your third item is good. It's good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, doesn't Riven have a negative win rate in the Asian servers? Like, again, so many people think Korea is the server, but then Korea don't rate Riven at all. So it's like, wh what did, wh what now? <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure I've, I've seen people who praise Korea on Twitter also say that Riven's overpowered. So they praise Korea, but then Korea go, Riven's trash. So what does that person say? Does the head just explode? I don't know. I've actually had that on the wrong button the whole time. Come on. 
Did that just... Yeah, that didn't hit me right. God damn it. Go safe build. Oh wow, that is a really safe build. Banshee second item. Again, questionable. your Caitlyn alone with me. Wait, I'm across the wall. Oh my god, this stupid little wall. Screw you. <laughs> oh, uh... ah, this is a pretty convincing win. Bop, bop. But also, again, I think I said it maybe in like another in a, an episode yesterday, maybe. Um, but to make it clear, again, when you everyone says this win rate, that win rate, this ban rate, that ban rate, Riot it came out and said those statistics aren't accurate. The websites that we have available, champion.gg, u.g, none of them are accurate. They don't have correct statistics. So again, you can't you can't quote those like completely accurate. But uh, yeah, they're not. They're not accurate at all. They they said on average they're one to two percent out. And one to two percent out is a big deal. You know, that's the difference between a champion where people kinda of kinda of go, that champion's got a fifty-five percent win rate, they're overpowered. It might be a fifty-three percent win rate, so it's strong but not overpowered. So yeah. Don't rely on third party data. Again, I actually might be able to get my hands on the actual data being a league partner now. I just thought. Hmm. I might try. I think Riot is becoming more uh, open to release. Because someone Twitch just said, why aren't Riot releasing their own then? They, I think they're becoming more open to it. Like, they've done the whole Riven. Like, they just gave us all the data that kind of disproved what people have been saying. They're doing that more often. Um, which I think is good. I don't think they should hide that stuff. But, yeah. Uh, oh, hiccup. Someone said LL Stylish actually got data from of Zed from a rioter. Yeah, again, part of being a league partner, we're, we're given like what we can do and like what benefits we have. We have like direct access to developers now. Like I literally can talk to basically any department I want. Um, but I also think that includes getting any data that I want to. Within reason. Like if I go, how much money do you make Riot? They're going to go, go away. But if I go, what's the ban rate, pick rate of this, this, that, that, this? Oh, yeah, I, I think I'll be able to get any data. Which is nice. We should just go, like, do Baron, I guess. Like, even if it's not doing Baron, we should just, like, maybe force Baron so they fight us. Just so they fight us. Like, we don't even have to do the Baron. But the enemy team is playing so passive right now that I don't think they're going to come near unless we do something like Baron. So we may as well just do it. <laughs> uh, okay. I think the hook got it. Fresh Q? Ha what? <laughs> Again, you gotta laugh at those. Oh, mama. Dominating. Oh, that was funny. 
Again, it doesn't matter because, again, the Baron was literally just to force them to do something because we were really far ahead this game. It was just getting, again, I'm going to say the word which I probably said, it was getting boring. Um, so I just wanted something to happen. Bobzilla, 0-2. So yeah, we, we really only made one mistake this game is when we went on Riven when we should have backed away. And again, I was kind of bored. Um, but that's only really the, the mistake we made. So I'll take it. Uh, I'll give it to... I don't know. Well done, Soraka. Like, okay, moment of truth. Do we get promoted? Hey, we do. Yes, gold two. So we skipped gold three. So, uh, yeah, we were... Remember, we were gold four. It says, like, literally in the top left. We were gold four in promo. And we now skipped to gold two. So, again, not surprising because we are winning a lot. Our MMR is really high. So it's not surprising. But, yeah. What, what's annoying, though, is because there's only, like, certain divisions. You used to go from, like, let's say gold... When when the five division used to be a thing, you used to go from, like, gold five to gold three, then gold three to gold one, then promote. Well, now you can't do that. Now you have to go from gold four to gold two, then gold two to gold one, then promote. It's a little bit annoying. Uh, but we'll most likely skip... We'll, we'll most likely skip, like, the whole way to diamond. Like, we'll probably go now to plat. You know, we'll have to go gold two to gold one. Get to platinum, then we'll have to go. Then we'll probably be plat four. Then we'll probably go from plat four to plat two, then plat one, then diamond. So, yeah, I'll take it though. Nice to. All right, so we went seven one six hundred and fifty farm. We got promoted to gold two and damage done. Dina, yeah, not bad damage for a cled. Comparing to the riven, we nearly do double damage. So pretty good for me. Again, the riven. I, for someone that played 50 games, and I know a lot of people go, Huz, you're a Diamond 2 player, she's a gold, uh, Platinum 4 player. I know there's that difference, but she still played incredibly weak and passive. Like, she did that one, the only time that she killed me is when I made the mistake of extending the fight because I was bored instead of running away. That's it. The only time was when I made a mistake. She never looked for things. So, I don't know. Not really what I'd call a great Riven if I'm honest, but also saying that the Jarvan, I, I know he camped mid lane, but like when he was like 201, I was like, oh yeah, there's a Jarvan in this game. He was like irrelevant. He really didn't do much either. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, try a like on the video, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.